perimeter questions, we got to draw a picture. This does say simplest radical form. We'll deal with that in a minute here, but let's draw a picture first. So we're going to have a triangle, no horizontal or vertical sides, meaning everything's going to have to have a Pythagorean theorem. So I'll get all those put on there. Make sure the triangle stands out, and I'm going to color code things. So I need that yellow side's length. I need the blue side's length. Need the green side's length. So I've got everything I need there. There's my yellow side. There's my green side. Here's my blue side. So now simplest radical form, if you get this question and it's not multiple choice and you don't know how to do it, just put a decimal down, you'll lose a little bit of credit, but you're going to be okay in the long term in terms of getting most of the credit. But simplest radical form, you're supposed to take all of your square roots and any of them that are perfect squares, you want that number. So if you put these in the calculator, that one's going to give you 13. That one's going to give you five. This one will give you a decimal. So those are the ones we want to be careful about. We want to try to find the factors of 128. Anything that's a perfect square, we want to pull out separately. So if I go to my calculator and I don't know the factors of 128, which I'm perfectly well aware that a lot of you do not do great factoring in your head. If you do, great. If not, we go to the calculator. We put 128 divided by x. This is going to tell us all the factors of 128 if we go to the table. So we hit second and graph, and then we look down the y column here, and we want to look for perfect squares. So, and again, if you're not sure, you can put them in the calculator, but 64 is a perfect square. That's the biggest perfect square. That's what we want. So now we're going to go back to our problem here, and we're going to change that into square root of 64 and square root of 2. Now, the important thing is here that this is a perfect square, so I can take the square root of that. I'm going to simplify these two and get 18 plus square root of 64 is 8, and if you're not sure, put it in the calculator. Square root of 2, I can't do anything with. This is your final answer right here. You cannot do 18 plus 8 and get 26 because those are not like terms. So we leave it just like that. <laughs>